Hello out there, it's Adrian A. Wagner here with your recap for the January 2011 Seven Springs Real Estate Market Update. There are five slides with some insight into the variables that make up this market, and come take a look. This shows the transfers for the month of January that were recorded, actually recorded at the courthouse. We have many more details about these properties, such as how many bedrooms, what type of floor plans, their location, that kind of information we share with our clients. This next chart tells a tale of how many transfers happened in January since 2004. Until you actually start seeing consistent upward momentum in these bars, it's still going to be a buyer's market. Next up shows inventory, or what we are now referring to as unsold listings, compared to sales for the month. If you're a buyer, it shows great selection. If you're a seller, it shows a need for an aggressive marketing strategy. We can help either of you. Give us a call if you're looking for a designated agent. Yes, you can get more space for less money at Hidden Valley. Keep in mind, though, that there are a ton of more amenities at Seven Springs, and that has historically kept the prices higher on this side of the mountain. This graph is most telling at the end of the year. The red line represents Seven Springs and the blue, Hidden Valley. As a buyer or seller, know that this is a small sampling of the information we follow and share with our clients. That gives them a competitive edge. For previous reports and the 2010 recap, go to laurelhighlandslocal.com. Send us a text, email, or call if you are looking for a designated agent. Hey, thanks for viewing, and we'll be back in March.